In environmental chemistry, the chemical oxygen demand COD is an indicative measure of the amount of oxygen that can be consumed by reactions in a measured solution. It is commonly expressed in mass of oxygen consumed over volume of solution which in SI units is milligrams per liter, milligram per liter. A COD test can be used to easily quantify the amount of organics in water. The most common application of COD is in quantifying the amount of oxidizable pollutants found in surface water e.g. lakes and rivers or wastewater. COD is useful in terms of water quality by providing a metric to determine the effect an effluent will have on the receiving body, much like biochemical oxygen demand Bod. Overview. The basis for the COD test is that nearly all organic compounds can be fully oxidized to carbon dioxide with a strong oxidizing agent under acidic conditions. The amount of oxygen required to oxidize an organic compound to carbon dioxide, ammonia, and water is given by C N H A O B N C plus N plus A four minus B two minus three four C O two N CO two plus a two minus three two C H two O plus C N H three Display style M box C underscore N M box H underscore a M box O underscore B M box N underscore C plus left N plus frac a four frac B two frac three four C right M box O underscore two right arrow N M box C O underscore two plus left frac a two frac three two C right M box H underscore two M box O plus C M box N H underscore three. This expression does not include the oxygen demand caused by nitrification, the oxidation of ammonia into nitrate. N H three plus two O two N O Three minus plus H three O plus Display style M box N M box H underscore three plus two M box O underscore two right arrow M box N M box O underscore three carrot plus M box H underscore three M box O carrot plus Dichromate, the oxidizing agent for COD determination, does not oxidize ammonia into nitrate, so nitrification is not included in the standard COD test. The International Organization for Standardization describes a standard method for measuring chemical oxygen demand in ISO 6060-1. Using potassium dichromate Potassium dichromate is a strong oxidizing agent under acidic conditions. Acidity is usually achieved by the addition of sulfuric acid. The reaction of potassium dichromate with organic compounds is given by C N H A O 
B N C plus D C R two O seven two minus plus eight D plus C H plus N C O two plus A plus eight D minus three C two H two O plus C N H four plus plus two D C R three plus Display style C E C underscore N C E H underscore A C E O underscore B C E N underscore C plus D C E C R two O seven to the power of two plus eight D plus C C E H plus two N C E C O two plus frac A plus eight D three C two C E H two O plus C C E N H four plus plus two D C E CR cube plus where D equals two N three plus a six minus B three minus C two Display style D equals two N three plus A six B three C two. Most commonly, a 0.25 N solution of potassium dichromate is used for COD determination, although for samples with COD below 50 mg per liter, a lower concentration of potassium dichromate is preferred. In the process of oxidizing the organic substances found in the water sample, potassium dichromate is reduced since in all redox reactions, one reagent is oxidized and the other is reduced, forming Cr3+. The amount of Cr3 plus is determined after oxidation is complete, and is used as an indirect measure of the organic contents of the water sample. Topic: Measurement of excess. For all organic matter to be completely oxidized, an excess amount of potassium dichromate or any oxidizing agent must be present. Once oxidation is complete, the amount of excess potassium dichromate must be measured to ensure that the amount of Cr3+ can be determined with accuracy. To do so, the excess potassium dichromate is titrated with ferrous ammonium sulfate FAS until all of the excess oxidizing agent has been reduced to Cr3+. Typically, the oxidation reduction indicator ferroin is added during this titration step as well. Once all the excess dichromate has been reduced, the ferroin indicator changes from blue-green to a reddish-brown. The amount of ferrous ammonium sulfate added is equivalent to the amount of excess potassium dichromate added to the original sample. Note, ferroin indicator is bright red from commercially prepared sources, but when added to a digested sample containing potassium dichromate it exhibits a green hue. During the titration the color of the indicator changes from a green hue to a bright blue hue to a reddish brown upon reaching the endpoint. Ferroin indicator changes from red to pale blue when oxidized. Topic: <inaudible> Preparation of ferroin indicator reagent. 
A solution of 1.485 g 1, 10 phenanthroline monohydrate is added to a solution of 695 mg iron 2 sulfate 7H2O in distilled water, and the resulting red solution is diluted to 100 ml. <laughs> Calculations The following formula is used to calculate cod C O D equals eight thousand B minus S N sample volume Display style mathram cod equals frac eight thousand B S N text sample volume where B is the volume of FAS used in the blank sample, S is the volume of FAS in the original sample, and N is the normality of FAS. If milliliters are used consistently for volume measurements, the result of the COD calculation is given in milligram per liter. The COD can also be estimated from the concentration of oxidizable compound in the sample, based on its stoichiometric reaction with oxygen to yield CO2 assume all C goes to CO2, H2O assume all H goes to H2O, and NH3 assume all N goes to NH3, using the following formula. COD equals C, F, W, R, M, O, 32 where C equals concentration of oxidizable compound in the sample FW equals formula weight of the oxidizable compound in the sample RMO equals ratio of the hash of moles of oxygen to hash of moles of oxidizable compound in their reaction to CO2, water, and ammonia. For example, if a sample has 500 W ppm weight parts per million of phenol, C6H5OH plus 7026CO2 plus 3H2OCOD. Topic 594th 732 1191WPPM. Topic Inorganic interference. Some samples of water contain high levels of oxidizable inorganic materials which may interfere with the determination of COD. Because of its high concentration in most wastewater, chloride is often the most serious source of interference. Its reaction with potassium dichromate follows the equation 6 C L minus plus C R two O seven two minus plus fourteen H plus three C L two plus Two C R three plus plus seven H two O Display style mathram six CL carrot plus CR underscore two O underscore seven carrot two plus fourteen H carrot plus right arrow three CL underscore two plus two CR carrot three plus plus seven H underscore two O Prior to the addition of other reagents, mercuric sulfate can be added to the sample to eliminate chloride interference. The following table lists a number of other inorganic substances that may cause interference. The table also lists chemicals that may be used to eliminate such interference, and the compounds formed when the inorganic molecule is eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Government regulation 
Many governments impose strict regulations regarding the maximum chemical oxygen demand allowed in wastewater before they can be returned to the environment. For example, in Switzerland, a maximum oxygen demand between 200 and 1000 mg per litre must be reached before wastewater or industrial water can be returned to the environment too. History For many years, the strong oxidizing agent potassium permanganate, potassium permanganate was used for measuring chemical oxygen demand. Measurements were called oxygen consumed from permanganate, rather than the oxygen demand of organic substances. Potassium permanganate's effectiveness at oxidizing organic compounds varied widely, and in many cases biochemical oxygen demand bod measurements were often much greater than results from COD measurements. This indicated that potassium permanganate was not able to effectively oxidize all organic compounds in water, rendering it a relatively poor oxidizing agent for determining COD. Since then, other oxidizing agents such as ceric sulfate, potassium iodate, and potassium dichromate have been used to determine COD. Of these, potassium dichromate, potassium dichromate has been shown to be the most effective, it is relatively cheap, easy to purify, and is able to nearly completely oxidize almost all organic compounds. In these methods, a fixed volume with a known excess amount of the oxidant is added to a sample of the solution being analyzed. After a refluxing digestion step, the initial concentration of organic substances in the sample is calculated from a titrometric or spectrophotometric determination of the oxidant still remaining in the sample. As with all colorimetric methods blanks are used to control for contamination by outside material. See also Biochemical oxygen demand Carbonaceous biochemical oxygen demand Theoretical oxygen demand Wastewater quality indicators discusses both BOD and COD as measures of water quality.